So, Gavin, really, this row uh, showing no signs of cooling down and the Green Party leader, Eamon Ryan, even being accused of threatening to destabilise the coalition. Yeah, we reported yesterday on the Virgin Media News Collette that Eamon Ryan had had a bit of a tough reception at the Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael parliamentary parties, which he addressed in an unprecedented move almost last night to try and explain exactly what he was intending and what the true effects of this proposal would be. It now emerges that, in fact, Eamon Ryan was accused of potentially destabilising and even risking the collapse of the government over all of this. Now, that might seem like extremist language, but it is worth bearing in mind that if you're to introduce a nationwide ban on the sale of sod turf, as Eamon Ryan is proposing, you even have to introduce a brand new law, which requires the votes of government TDs in the Dáil and Shannon to get over the line, or you would do up a ministerial order which the opposition parties could then try to overturn in the Dáil, thereby calling a vote where TDs would have to vote in line with Eamon Ryan and potentially then risk collapsing the government or losing the government whip over it. So it is quite a significant threat coming from those government backbenchers who desperately want for the government not to collapse over this but don't really see many other ways of trying to find any kind of a compromise. And all of that, meanwhile, while the Dáil was today debating a motion from the Rural Independent Group which was demanding the immediate cessation of all all carbon taxes because they say it is again hampering rural Ireland. The Greens don't even come into the equation in rural Ireland, but Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil, I have a very strong message for you. You have lost rural Ireland, and I mean that. And let the message go out from the floor of Dal Airden. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, you have lost rural Ireland in a way you will never get it back and never be trusted again. Tell the people who want to retrofit the house, even the smallest job of uh, insulating the walls and ceiling, tell them they need to do it anymore if they expect money from the government because some people want to abolish the carbon tax. Society works on people paying tax and the government spending it. You can't spend it on those schemes if you don't raise it. So the government defending the carbon tax is something of a necessary evil. They say it simply has to exist in order to fund the retrofitting and environmentally conscious measures that the government says are necessary to deal with all the other issues that are facing the world right now. But today, the Royal Independents have pointed out the tax revenues for March were among the highest that the government has ever had. They said that there has literally never been a time where the government has had more money in the coffers. And they say it isn't necessary to have carbon taxes, therefore, to fund the measures that the government says are necessary.